If we can avoid being hassled by security, it should be a good day. Hi everyone, I've come to London today to do a photo walk from Greenwich to Docklands. I'm starting in Greenwich and I'm heading to Docklands. Docklands, Greenwich, Greenwich, Docklands. Let's go! This is one of the photo walks I do as a workshop, a city photo walk, uh, which you can see more details on my website if you're interested. Um, it's a great location and walk to do because there's such a variety of shots you can do. Um, you've got the maritime history and the old buildings here at Greenwich, um, which uh, make some good shots. And then we cross under the Thames to get over to, well, we go on the foot tunnel, you don't have to swim, uh, to get over to Canary Wharf where you've got the mixture of architecture and modern uh, views over there. Um, it's also good because you've got so, such a variety of uh, techniques we can do because we can use wide angle lenses, telephoto lenses, high ISO, low ISO, um, you can always use different filters, we can use polarizers, ND grads, uh, big stoppers, uh, ND standards, all sorts of things. So such a variety of uh, techniques we can go through. So it makes a good, uh, a good location if you want to get the most out of your camera and uh, learn a few new techniques. The Queen's House here at Greenwich makes a, a great starting point for the walk, um, simply because there's four great shots to do from this one little area. First of all, there's the the arches and the, the lamps hanging down there makes a great view looking down that way. There's the columns and the shadows that you get formed here from the morning sun. And then there's a the view through the Maritime Museum off to Docklands in the background there with them nicely framed by the two domes makes a really good shot and you can also step back and use these columns to frame the shot if you want. Now I did say four great shots didn't I? You actually have to walk just a few yards to find the fourth one but it's worth it. Let's go. Well that's uh, Greenwich done, so let's cross the river, head to the other side. So we're in the uh, Greenwich foot tunnel now, going under the Thames towards uh, Docklands. Uh, this used to be a shot that I could do because um, it was quite a, an eerie place, a bit dark, a bit dingy, not somewhere you'd want to uh, come on your own or at night, but it looks like they've put a lot more lighting up um, and made it a much more user-friendly place and somewhere where you won't be so scared to, to come but it lessens the atmosphere of the shot you can get. I'll put up on screen a shot that I've done before. 
So the shot I had planned to do here, to replicate the one I've done earlier, um, probably have to do a bit of extra processing and uh, perhaps bring the exposure down to <laughs> increase the atmosphere and make it look more uh, gloomy than it is at the moment. So uh, yeah, so they've quite changed it, which is good for most users, but not for me or a photographer. This is uh, one final view of Greenwich before we head off. Uh, lovely view across the river here to the Maritime Museum. Uh, probably best shot late afternoon. I've done it before from here, and there's a nice bit of sunshine on the uh, on the buildings over there. But it does make a nice view, framed with the trees just above here. But anyway, can't hang around. We're going to jump onto the Docklands Light Railway, move up a couple of stops just to save some time, and uh, head into Canary Wharf. So here I am in the Docklands area now. I've come to one of several viewpoints we can do where we can do um, long exposures from when you've got the, the key in the foreground and the buildings in the background. So you can do a long exposure to blur the water and also blur any cloud in the sky. Luckily it's clouded over at the moment so uh, hopefully we'll get a little bit of movement in the sky which is better than a blue sky. I've set up as usual a uh, camera on a tripod. Um, fully manual mode, uh, big stopper and 0.9 soft grad just to uh, bring down the brightness of the sky to, to balance it with the buildings. Um, I'm actually using um, live bulb mode uh, so that I can see the exposure build up on the screen. Let's put it there, there we go. Live bulb so it gives a histogram and also shows the picture building up every 15 seconds or whatever you set it to. Uh, this is exclusive to Olympus cameras of course but it really helps with these long exposures taking out the guesswork although the the card you get with the big stopper helps you um, guess what the exposure is going to be. This one actually shows you in real time and, and you can cut it or extend the exposure as you see fit once you see that histogram build up and get uh, move over to the right hand side as the picture gets brighter and brighter you can then cut it and cut the exposure when you've got exact time um, for the location you're shooting in so really useful feature that there's new buildings going up here all the time and uh, this one looks like it's going to be very impressive. Very futuristic. This is the uh, next spot that I usually come to to do a view here. It's another long exposure location. Um, great view of the Canary Wharf area from this side now. Um, but you often have to tailor your, your viewpoint because often there's a, a boat or two, just a little dinghy or something parked along here. So depending where it is, um, depending when you can do your shot from. However, I wasn't exactly expecting this boat to be here today. <laughs> Um, great big warship, okay. <laughs> Expect the unexpected when you're out doing your photography, I suppose, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to avoid this one, so I don't know what ship it is. What is it? Sashen. Sashen, that seems to be the name of it. Anyway, I think I'm going to have to head down here instead to the far end of the dock to try and avoid this being in my shot, but uh, yeah. 
Well, I've come down to the uh, bottom end of the docks now. Um, cleared the warship, but unfortunately, there seems to be a lot more building work going on over there. Perhaps another building going up. I don't know if you can see all those cranes in the distance over there. So it's kind of spoiling that view from down here. So um, I think I'm going to have to go from plan B to plan C and head over to the dock over there where hopefully there's a, a clearer view, but um, it's just not going to work here today. So here we are, plan C, always have a plan C. To, if plan A and plan B never work, it's always plan C if it comes down the end. Anyway, <laughs> this uh, it's not a bad view here, so it's a bit tighter here, we'll probably need a wider lens or hope that a wide lens that I've got is going to be able to get this shot. But um, I'm going to set up on this bridge here and uh, see what we can get. So with that done, um, that's my long exposures. So I'm going to head now into Canary Wharf and see what abstracts and shots I can get within the area itself. Let's hope we can avoid security. This is another favourite spot of mine over here on um, West India Quay, I think it is, uh, looking up to Canary Wharf up there. Uh, you've got a nice mixture of buildings, the, the, uh, the tan coloured one and the, the modern structures up there. But you've also got the Docklands Light Railway crossing over here. And uh, if I time that with um, the tube train coming across, um, it adds a nice bit of splash of colour and a bit of blurring into the shot. So um, I polarise the sky with a polarizer, and I'm also using a soft brad just to bring down the, the brightness of the sky to balance with the buildings below. Um, and it's just a case of timing, waiting for that train to come into shot, um, using a slow shot speed of about a fifteenth of a second. Um, and that adds just a little bit of extra impact to the shot. Well, that's me just about finished for this uh, photo walk. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing some of the locations that are here from Greenwich to Docklands. If you fancy booking your own city photo walk with me, you can go to the website and see full details there. Uh, but for me, this is it, saying goodbye. See you later. Now, about seeing that captain to move that battleship. Mm -hmm.